A very good morning to all the plants enthusiasts out there. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, this morning, especially for those who are interested in the snake plants or the mother-in-law tongue, or a more proper term, a uh, sansevieria. Uh, here it is. Uh, this is about two years old. Started with a three uh, liver. And now uh, he has multiple uh, growth, multiple uh, babies, so-called no longer babies. Um, it's time to report a uh, long time ago. Basically, uh, this pot is packed, all right, with rhizomes and uh, with the uh, various uh, outgrowth of uh, the babies. So I think uh, I could divide this up uh, into maybe three or four plants. Right, these are the original, right, slightly yellow, uh, but it's fine, right, these are the original, these two leaves here, together with uh, this one, right, three of them, now multiply into uh, quite a few, right, this is the uh, longest, you can see that, uh, right, it is uh, all the way from the tip of my finger, right, uh, to the, uh, from the pot, all right, surface, all the way to my shoulder here, all right? Okay, this is a long one. And more are growing and they're not growing uh, well because uh, it is all packing, all right? You can check this out here on close up. Okay, this is uh, kind of like uh, deformed. In the beginning, first uh, six to nine months, this plant was indoor and didn't receive uh, that much light. Then about uh, a year ago, I decided to move it outdoor, just uh, left it with the, uh, uh, to the elements of the sun and the rain, and I hardly water it. So this is quite a resilient plant. Okay, and within a year or year plus, it has grown so much. Uh, bear in mind that within the nine months, uh, there was just a small, uh, growth, a uh, baby coming out. Uh, once moved outdoor, when the elements took over, when nature took over, see the profusion of, uh, of plants. I think the rhizome grew very well under the substrates and uh, therefore we get lots of growth. Right? I'll be reporting it soon. Right here, I have uh, a teased the plant out of the pot. All right, this is the pot and uh, mercifully the rhizome was not pressing against uh, the side of the pot otherwise uh, it would be uh, be not stuck all right and it, I may have to cut you know the plastic pot but uh, well it is out easily just give them a few tuck and shake and you know the uh, plant is out. Uh, it is still wet because uh, it's rainy season here in tropical uh, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, uh, just take a look at some of this uh, new uh, growth here. This is um, a deform, I think. All right, uh, not doing that well because it was uh, pressed against the side of uh, of the wall of the of the pot. All right. Okay, I'm going to divide the rhizome. I'm going to. I uh, remove the uh, substrate bit by bit and uh, expose all the rhizome and its roots and then from there I would be able to determine where to cut and how many plants I would like to have. Alright, uh, the job of dividing the rhizome is, uh, is done. You can see there are five uh, portions. Uh, after removing the soil, using my fingers to dig it in, uh, well, the substrate was wet and therefore it's a little bit more difficult, uh, you know, job to do. So basically, uh, just dig up the substrates uh, using your fingers or you have a chopstick, just uh, slowly ease it in and then uh, shake it, move it so that uh, you loosen up the uh, soil. This is the first one. Uh, well, you can see that uh, I broke it up uh, by brute force, right? So you can see that uh, it was not cut. 
So this is uh, one of them, right? It has a long leaf. And then the, this is the second one. Right, also by uh, brute force, uh, it was broken up, right? Uh, this whale fin has uh, all together four uh, leaves. Okay, look at the roots and the rhizome. Okay, uh, it will grow more. Right, this is the second one. Uh, I think I can even break this up into two. All right, uh, you can see that uh, you know uh, the the right side. Okay, it can be broken up if I have enough uh, of the rhizome. Okay, and. Uh, well, this will be the main one that I will be potted like a featured because uh, a featured plant because it has a long leaf, a easily uh, more than a a yard or three. It's a three footer, all right. It's a long one, and uh, the rhizomes are good, thick, big, all right. Lots of roots, so I'll keep this. Uh, there is a bit of a damage. Uh, be careful. All right, uh, when I uh, break it up by brute force, just uh, using my uh, my muscles to just divide uh, the rhizome, just uh, because uh, there are natural wedges there, so I just, uh, you know, pull it apart. Uh, this is, uh, well, part of the carelessness, right? Uh, it was torn a little bit, uh, so the leaf uh, is a bit of damage, all right? So the skin is gone. Well, this is the third one, and well, this is the fourth, all right? Uh, it's a single leafer. Uh, well, this was cut, all right? Uh, the roots and the rhizome is there. Okay, this would uh, leave, this would do well. And finally, this is a deformed one, all right? Because it was pressing very hard against the, um, the, side, of the, the side wall of the pot. So you can see that this leaf is not well formed. Uh, rhizome there, all right? And uh, the leaf looks kind of uh, awkward and uh, not well formed. Uh, this is, uh, well, I should report it soon and uh, hope that uh, this leaf would open up uh, you know, normally and I would get a good pot, right? But, uh, well, uh, I'm going to apply uh, cinnamon powder on all these uh, so-called wounds, all right? Uh, I will let it colors for a, a couple of hours before I report them in a succulent mix, okay? A porous kind of a mix, okay? So a, wherever that uh, it, is, it is broken up, all right, there are wounds, it would have to be... Uh, Cinnamon powder will have to be applied, all right, like this over here. All right, I hope uh, that uh, this uh, whale fin would continue to grow in the years to come and to multiply. Uh, it's getting cloudy and rain is about to fall. And uh, I have the fluorescent lights uh, switch on, so it's much brighter now. So the cinnamon uh, powder has been dropped onto the wound, all right? So you can see the cinnamon liberally applied. Okay, one down. And for the second one, look, this is a big uh, cut here, right? I would uh, be dropping cinnamon powder on it. All right, uh, cinnamon powder on the whale fin uh, wounds. Uh, got to be kept like this for a couple of hours for it to callous and dry up. Okay, uh, cinnamon powder again on this. And also here, okay, two cuts. Uh, so do not be stingy with your cinnamon powder because uh, you know, it is important to apply it liberally. All right, here, a big wound, and uh, that's it. Only, okay, there's another one here. I've not covered, it'll be done in a while. 
right? This is the nicest of the lot because uh, you can see that it is uh, a three footer. It's nice plant, upright. Okay, these are the smaller ones and another one here, all right? Okay, and this last one. So they are all together. A one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So I think this would be separated too later on, and uh, I will get six. Okay, six pots. Right. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this. Right. This was the original. Right. This one. This whale fin three liver, and then uh, within two years I got this uh, two liver. And then this another two uh, liver over here, and then this is a uh, three liver, all right. And this is a one liver, and this is a two liver. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From three uh, to ten, uh, within two years, uh, that is a good result. Would you say so? Well, finally, I got the real fins uh, reported six pots, and this is the largest one. Uh, on measurement, uh, from the surface right up to the tip of the real fin is two and a half uh, feet. All right, it's not three feet, two and a half feet. A three liver. Uh, this is the largest, largest of the lot, and. The original three looking the same, of the same size as of two years ago and uh, ready to grow again and to give more babies. Right, this is the uh, third largest and uh, a two liver. It's uh, it has, uh, really white leaves, even though it's not that long. You can see that uh, it is quite white and firm and sturdy all right all reported in succulent soil and uh, in some of the original soil let's take a look at the three smallest one okay this is a another handsome whale fin all right white leaves sturdy thick it's beautiful and this is the other one that is quite large a little bit uh crease up uh over here you can see that it's a bit wavy up and down all right they are crest and throws and there is a crack here exposing the fiber the white fiber inside a uh, minor defect all right but uh beautiful looking and finally uh, this looks a little bit strange all right because uh it could not unfold uh trapped uh, between the rock and hard place so called so uh, this is all is folded up I hope you will open up because uh, it's trapped between you know the the rhizome and the wall of the pot right so nowhere to go and uh, it just can't unfold but uh, hopefully all right with this new pot it will do justice uh, to its name